With a yo ho ho, it's Tale of the Toaster. Welcome back to Let's Play Inazuma 11 Go Light. In the last video, Lucian Dark joined our team. He's level 20 and is listed as a forward, but doesn't have any moves. Level 20 is not bad at all. It's certainly better than these level 1 guys that I got from the Kendo Club off screen. We also met up with Sean Frost and learned all about his protege, Njord Snow. This time, we want to meet. Roma! Oh, the train's arrived already. I suppose we were a bit slow getting here. Roma must be around here somewhere. I can't wait to see how much his skills have improved. Oh, you boys go to Ryman Junior I, don't you? Thank goodness. Would you be able to get this lost property back to its owner? And look at the tag. It's Roma's case. Oh, you know the boy it belongs to. Brilliant! He was helping an old lady who had a lot of heavy bags. Lovely of him, of course, but... Then he shouted something about carrying her all the way home on his back. Scooped her up, and off he ran. Forgot all about his things. That's Roma for you. But what if she lives really far away? He might not even make it back before the match. Ha <laughs> of course he will, man. I'm telling you, he'll be back any sec. We spent the rest of the day waiting there for Roma to turn up. Undertale mode. But nobody came. Okay, now where did I tour get to? Look, I get it all right. I'm getting along fine with my teammates. You don't need to worry about me. Are you sure? I hear you've been arriving late to morning practice a lot recently. Oh, how did you know that? You underestimate me. I'm very well informed about your activities at the football club. I talk the most important thing in football is to be able to work with your teammates. When in Rome, do as the Romans do. You're not in the Sunshine Academy anymore. Ah, hello, Arian. I hope Itor here hasn't been causing you too much trouble. Don't be too hard on him. Um... Well then, good luck in today's match. Arion, don't tell anyone about what you just saw. Swear to me you won't. Uh, okay, I swear. Is Itor friends with Mr. Schiller or something? Right everyone, the second round of the national finals is here. Time for us to play Alpine at last. I know you can do this, so trust yourselves, you can beat these guys. Yes coach? Oh, what's Roma playing at? I'm going to give him the old bish bash bosh if he doesn't get here soon. Forget it, probably wasn't going to come back in the first place. It's fine, we've already perfected twin wings. And what do you mean Sam, we've got his suitcase, he's already back. We have no reason to be worried about Alpine's absolute barrier. Just get ready. Can we get a big old whelp for Sean Frost? Because he got to be my favourite character in Inazuma 11 Go for a whopping two episodes. And then my absolute favourite Inazuma 11 character, Jordan Greenway, comes back for a Go Light exclusive scene. You can see why I'm playing this and not Shadow, eh? Yeah, so Ito has some kind of connection to Mr. Schiller and his best mate, Jordan Greenway. And, you know, he had two lines and he sounded just like Coach Evans, but I am immeasurably, immeasurably happy to see Jordan Greenway again. I wonder if Axel will be watching our match again today. I would assume so. I just wish we knew what his game was here. Me too. But I still believe in him, no matter what. All we can do right now is keep on fighting alongside our players. Indeed. Mark, if I'm totally honest with you, there's another reason why I came here. Really? What's that? Actually, maybe now was not the best time. I'll tell you when match is over. Come on, we should get going. All right, you're my favorite character again. I'm sorry, Sean Frost, tell us what your secret is. So we go over to Roulette Rail, and yeah, 
I don't want to give a discredit to the actual Go cast. There's definitely some characters I like. Adekebe, of course, being my favourite, as I've made clear. But the more members of Inazuma National you see as this game progresses, the more you really get into it. That was my favourite thing about playing Go Light. Discovering all the adult characters grown up, just appearing one by one out of nowhere. And, of course... You all know that Jordan Greenway is my favourite character from the original trilogy, so I just hit the jackpot when we got that. And yes, that was the entire reason I got Go Light and not Go Shadow. But even without Jordan Greenway, I still think Go Light is the better version. It's got Mark's canonical wife from the anime. And then it's got the Victor and Bylong scenes instead of I, uh, Arian and a chap called Tezcat. The walk to the arena seems a bit scary this time. I don't know what you mean, and on top of that, we've still got no idea what this arena's quirk could be. I'm shaking just thinking about it. You shaking? Why? You're only going to be on the bench. I knew it, you're nervous too, Ito. Auntie Sylvia says nervous people always rub their hands together, like you're doing now. What? No, see, tonto, I'm not nervous. Shut up and stop looking at my hands. Let's just go. No, I'm going to pry for more details about your relationship with Ar with Xavier Schiller and Jordan Greenway, please. Now then, we are in the icy path, not to be confused with the ice path from Pokemon Heart, Gold and Soul Silver. No gold celebrations there, but if you don't mind, I am going to go through this path very slowly for a couple of reasons. First of all, I want to make sure we have all the photos from this place snapped up. And there we go. We got the extinguished torch. Well, if we got it that quickly. This, of course, means we can now recruit Typhoon. And wow, he cost a lot of friendship points. I clearly need to take this 3DS for a walk to build up some play coins and buy some more friendship points. But there we go, Typhoon, Typhoon 2, Typhoon Twins, Typhoon Cadet, and Typhoon have now joined my roster. We might as well see who else we can get, if anybody. As a result of getting that photo, there are more photos to take along the way, of course, such as the snowman photo, which we'll keep an eye out for. But yeah, I imagine Typhoon is level 1, so he's certainly not going to be of any use in the near future. But he would train in the midst of a hurricane, because that's a pun on his name. Let's get back to the icy path. The ice path in Pokemon Gold, Silver and its remakes, that was always like one of my favourite music tracks in all of Pokemon. Nowadays, after stuff like Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire and Sun and Moon have come out, then all of my favourite music tracks in the Pokemon series just belong to the villainous team leader, be it Guzma or the remix Maxi and Archie, all of those, and and also N's theme and Cole Ress's theme. I just love the villainous team, well, villainous leader themes in the Pokemon series. But nevertheless, Ice Path is an old favourite where I've listened to remixes plenty of times, and um, it's not as good over here, but it's not bad either. After so many recordings, you start to get a bit tired of the Ryman school theme. Because it's just so loud and in your face that it happens all the time. Anyway, hey presto, hey presto. It's a true combo. We have defeated the weather system because we are Toon Link, I suppose. But even though I got the photo of the extinguished torch, believe it or not... The recruitment of Typhoon is not the most important thing to keep an eye out for in this route. No, no, no. I have something very important that I want to make sure you all collect. Irregardless of recruitment, it's just a big old important thing. And we're going to first off do another random encounter, which I might as well show on screen because the last one was just a don't lose the ball type thing, and we want to get some goals, and that Zeum guy from stupid Ecluid Euclid looks kind of like a robot, and I'm always a fan of that. We're going to go for the Rainbow Bubble Burst, just to, just to look a bit out of place. But hey, Fortissimo Foot has already leveled up to version 3, we've got to get the long shot on a par with it, right? We did it! We did it! 
Oh, Ari, and I wish you had a different voice. Like, the game normally has so much better voice acting than its anime equivalent, but this is the exception where Arian just sounded so much better. Uh, this silver chest we can't do anything with. I'll tell you another um, exception to that rule. No, not an exception to the rule. An announcement relating to the anime dub. By the time you're seeing this video, I think the Nintendo anime channel which I use to watch the dubbed Inazuma 11 go legally for free on my Nintendo 3DS will probably be gone because on October 31st, that service, which I've been using to re-watch the Inazuma 11 go anime alongside this Let's Play, in the dub for the very first time, has been discontinued. It was only ever available in Europe and po probably Japan anyway, it was never available to the Americans, but I'm quite aware that my audience is largely European anyway. Yeah, throughout this Let's Play I was really pushing this service, telling people how to watch the anime if they wanted to do so, in a legal way rather than finding other ways around it. But no, Nintendo have decided to kick that one off, so I would like to see that service revived on the Nintendo Switch, but for the time being, there will be no more. Okay, so you know that thing I was really desperately trying not to miss and was intentionally going through this route really slowly to make sure I didn't miss the item? I missed the item. Right, so, like I said, this is a very important item and you're all gonna wanna get it! Oh hey! We just found a video game lying around on the floor! That's another recruitment item relating to the guys in the kendo club. But imagine that look! Actually, now that I think about it, my dad did just find a new Super Mario Bros. cartridge on a bus once and kept it for himself. Really teaching me good morals there, Dad. But nevertheless, like, over here is the Ivy Selective ticket in this hidden, hidden area. How were you meant to see if you stood here? Let's think. Oh, I'm just gonna walk through these trees! Genuinely, you, you, even if you tilt the camera, I have tilted it as far as it can go and just barely creep the treasure chest on screen. That is... Look at the bottom screen as well! I am stood in the middle of nowhere! How were you supposed to know there was an item there? Especially one which is so very, very important. The Ivy Selective ticket is used to unlock an extra match in Millie's competition route which we took on a few episodes ago and Ivy Selective themselves are the team we were supposed to face in the third round of the qualifiers before they got swapped out for Royal Academy so I will absolutely want to demonstrate Ivy Selective on screen in this let's play but you cannot take them on in that competition route without that item so I'll probably show off the Ivy Selective match in a couple of episodes time so that you can see what that team looks like. But back on the actual story. Looks like Roma's definitely not gonna make it. Uh, yeah, it's a shame. Cause things are always more interesting when he's around. We've perfected twin wings. I think we can manage this without him, huh? <laughs> Strong answer like that. Great to meet you all. Glad 
to have you back, Roma. How would you like to get right on the pitch? I spent a whole year in Italy during the toughest training under a supreme football master. Never been more ready in my life. Well, I certainly hope so with that kind of arrival. Anyway, Ryoma Nishiki is ours and we'll learn more about his playstyle and what we're going to use him for in the next episode when we actually take on Alpine Junior High. A very exciting match indeed. What's up? I'm back from here and was ready to play by the way the pizza with you. Yep, he talks entirely in all caps on the iNata and this will persist for the rest of the game. I like this guy. See you in the next episode.